Hello everyone, this is Keith. Welcome to another tutorial. This time we are going to deal with the continuation for MSSQL. Okay, so the last time we had a tutorial about the beginner's guide on how you're going to set up SQL, how you're going to deal with basic commands in SQL using SSMS. Now, this time we are going to deal with SQL foreign keys. So when we say foreign keys, it's like a reference, uh, creating a reference of field from one table going to another table for the purpose of relationships. Now, first thing that we are going to do is just to pull out our previous exercise, remove one table because we're going to add a new feature for the table on our database. So looking onto the database area, so this is the music DB. We have three tables in here. So let's say if I'm going to delete one table, I can just simply right click on that one click on delete or I can type it here so just type drop table then the name of the table which is albums then click on execute so check on the message if it's okay you can right click on music DB database and refresh there you go so upon checking on the tables area we only have two tables left this time we are going to deal with constraint. So it's like we are going to create a foreign key for this new table that we're going to create, which is albums. So I'm going to populate the fields. Let's make this one fast. Okay, once done, we are going to type in constraint. So this time, this is the part from which we are going to create a foreign key. So it's like a field from which will serve as a communicator, a field in one table that will serve as a communicator to another field on a different table. So for example, in here, I'm going to create a foreign key named artist ID, which is located on the albums table now we are going to reference this foreign key from the primary key of the artist table so which is artist id so we are going to type into these lines on delete no action and on update no action so what's going to happen in here guys is like you have created a communicator okay so that will serve as a link between the albums table and the artist table so the name of that link is artist ID we call that one as foreign key so once executed again we're going to refresh this one check onto the tables upon checking on DBO albums we already have the album ID and we have the foreign key for the artist ID as you can see in here we already have the primary key and the light key is the foreign key now we already know that the albums table and the artist table can somehow link data to one another okay so there is some sort of relationship between these two tables now this time we are going to create another constraint okay we're going to create another foreign key and we are going to use the genre table for this first we are going to call on music db just to make sure although it is already highlighted but just to make everything sure so i'm going to type in alter table which means i'm going to update the details of that particular table as well as the features of that table again I'm going to type a specific lines of command this time I'm going to use the genre ID for the foreign key of the albums table and it will be referenced from the genres table 
with its primary key which is the general id as well now may be sure that if ever you are going to declare a foreign key be sure that the names of the fields are exactly the same so that you will not be having any problems by the time you are going to execute the commands okay there you go so once done click on execute and check on the genres table be sure that you are going to refresh music db before you're going to check it otherwise you're not going to see the changes going back to the albums table you will be able to see that we already have two foreign keys in here which means that the execution is successful